as you can probably tell by the vast amounts of sunlight around me, the storm's not coming anywhere near here. Okay? The, the, we might see some rather heavy rain over here by Tuesday. The storm itself seems to be holding itself well off the coast there for a while. The coastal areas are going to get screwed over. Daytona is like cancel Labor Day. They're, they're going to be underwater. But out here, we'll just get, you know, rather wet and windy. And maybe some outages, but nothing major. So I think out here, we've, we've probably dodged it. Or we're processing it. So I'm going to go see Steph. And uh, one of the things she wants to do is she wants one of those impossible walkers. So. Now, I did that early, but I had to delete the video for various stupid reasons. So I'm, we're going to do a review again. I'm going to get a, one regular Whopper for me and an impossible one for her. And we're going to do another comparison test again. And we'll see how that goes. And in the meantime, I'll figure out something else to talk about. I'll bring the camera inside. I'm just going to shut it off to let it charge and cool down. And, yeah, okay. Steph's assessment, yeah, it, it's good. But no one's going to, you know, only paying attention is not going to mistake it for a real meat whopper. So, that's one thing. It's just, you know. Again, based on my experience with it before, I don't want to call it dry. Because it is, it's not like it's, you know, so, but it is, it's not juicy enough. It's, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's tasty enough. It, you know, it's got the right seasoning to it. But it's... It's like, uh, I don't know. Let's just say, you know, like a burger's been well done to the point where it's not, not juicy at all. It's, it's still pliable enough and chewy, but it, it's no longer dripping. You know, it's a, so you don't have that kind of sensation. And there's also the fact it's a dollar more than a regular Whopper. So, still got that. That's another big hurdle. A lot of these, you know, fake meat stuff is it's more expensive than regular meat. You know? To, uh, I guess the one genre related media thing I can really comment on right now is She Hulk. Again, nothing is known about this. I don't have any casting ideas whatsoever what they want to do. I want to do a little bit of you know, friendly advice from a fan. If they go with the current year, whatever the hell version of She Hulk they got going, it will fail utterly. If they're smart, they will take a pay and they will go with the John Byrne era She Hulk. Give me Fourth wall breaking and all. They want to do a sensational She-Hulk, not savage She-Hulk. In other words, if they get a thing, they might as well put Lou Ferrigno in a, in a bikini, then no, they have failed. Go with a wisecracking, you know, fourth wall breaking, you know, savvy lawyer type. Go with that one and don't go overly muscled, okay? Uh, one suggestion I said was Gina Carano. As uh, she, unfortunately, she's taken by the Mandalorian, but but I did a you know a uh, I can put it up here uh, picture. Just change the tint to green. Did work. But you know, there's a, there's a number of you know probably lady bodybuilders that got into acting you know, or just uh, Angie Harmon. If you could bulk her up a bit, you know, she would be perfect. She's got the right attitude. I don't know if Rosalie and Isles are still going, but hey, but she would be perfect for Shield. That kind of, that's the kind of type you want for Jen Walters. So, so I guess this turns into a comic matters, you know, <laughs> a comic book matters episode. Other than that, yeah, okay, it's getting cloudy out here, but again, it's been getting cloudy off and on throughout the thing. I think the storm is actually still out at sea, so this is probably very little connection with it. But the way it's looking, uh, again, if shelter is still kind of a thing there, then yeah, I'll be kicking back out here and uh, probably kicking back in a recliner in the break room at the, the nursing facility, uh, rehab facility. And if, the walk, if they got a decent Wi-Fi out there, they got Wi-Fi. I don't know how good it is. If it's good enough, you know what the hell, I'll do a little live stream. But otherwise, it's looking like it's probably just going to be raining and I'll just go and camp it out in the car. And we'll, again, we'll probably do a live stream. Yeah, oh, it's starting to rain. Uh, 
and we'll keep you posted on that. Uh, again, I want to mail stuff to me. Captain Robert April, 4046 North Goldenrod Road, number 115, Winter Park, Florida, 32792. PayPal, Patreon, links down below in the description, and we will get to you later.